this word fundamentalism, we come to know from Webster Dictionary, that it was first coined to describe a group of Christians in the early part of the 20th century in America who protested against the church. They were called as Protestant Christians. Initially, the church, they believed that the message of the Bible is from God. These Protestant Christians, they protested and said, not only is the message of the Bible from God, every word, every letter of the Bible is from God. If someone can prove that every word, every letter of the Bible is from God, this movement is a good movement. On the other hand, if someone can prove that every word of the Bible is not from Almighty God, then this movement is not a good movement. When we refer to the Oxford Dictionary for the definition of the word fundamentalist, it says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient teachings and doctrines of any religion. But when we refer to the revised new edition, there's a slight change. The new edition says that fundamentalist is a person who strictly adheres to the ancient teachings and doctrines of any religion, especially Islam. So the word especially Islam has been added to the revised definition. The moment you hear the word Muslim, you start thinking he's a fundamentalist, he's an extremist, he's a terrorist. And many of us Muslims, we go on the defense, I'm not a fundamentalist, I'm not an extremist. I say I'm an extremist. I'm extremely honest, I'm extremely just, I'm extremely kind, I'm extremely peaceful, I'm extremely merciful. <laughs> I want to know what is wrong in being extremely just, extremely honest, extremely kind, extremely merciful. You can't be partly just when it benefits you and if you are just. When it doesn't benefit you not, you have to be extremely just. That's what the Quran says. Our religious scripture, the word of our mighty God, says we have to be fully just. We can't expect a judge to be partly just when he wants he does justice, otherwise no. So what's wrong? And I want to ask any human being, can he tell me that being extremely honest is wrong, extremely just is wrong, extremely peaceful is wrong? We have to be an extremist but in the right direction. So when someone says I'm extremist, I have to be an extremist Muslim. Only if I'm an extremist Muslim can I be a good Muslim. Otherwise I can't. I know these terminologies have been manipulated. The definitions keep on changing. But we have to turn the tables over. We can't partly follow the Quran. We have to extremely and completely follow the Quran. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 208 Allah says Utkhlu fi silmi kaffa Enter into Islam wholeheartedly. Today Muslims they label labeled as terrorist. The basic and simple definition of terrorist is a person who causes terror. For example, if a criminal sees a policeman, he's terrified. So for the criminal, the policeman is a terrorist. <laughs> In this context, I say that every Muslim should be a terrorist. Whenever any criminal sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any rapist sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any robber sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. Whenever any anti-social element sees a Muslim, he should be terrified. That's what the Quran says in Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 60, that cause terror in the hearts of the anti-social elements. Those people who are killing wrong people, who are against humanity, Quran says, cause terror in their hearts. I know that commonly the word terrorist means terrorizing innocent human beings. In this context, no Muslim should ever terrorize any innocent human being. It is prohibited in Islam. <laughs> we know that many a times, two different labels are given for the same person, for the same individual, for the same activity, more than 60 years back. When India was being ruled by the British government, there were many Indians who were fighting for the freedom of the country. These Indians, who were fighting for the freedom of the country by the British government, they were called as terrorists. But we common Indians, we call them as freedom fighters, as patriots. Same people, same activity, two different labels. If you agree with the view of the British government that they had a right to rule over India, then you have to call these people as terrorists. But if you agree with the view of the common Indians that the Britishers came to India to do business, they have no right to rule over us, then you have to call them as patriots, as freedom fighters. These same very Britishers, they call Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Azad, Subhash Chandra Bose as terrorists. Do we agree? Not at all. Just because the Britishers say, just because the Americans say, we don't have to believe, we have to fight for justice. They were patriots, they were freedom fighters. Therefore, before you give a label to any individual, you have to try and find out for what reason is he striving. We have several such examples in world history. Time does not permit us to give all the details. I'll just give one more example of the American Revolution, which took place in the 19th century. 
And we know in 1875, during the American Revolution, there were many Americans who were fighting for the freedom. The British were ruling America. And these people who fought for the freedom by the British government, they were called as terrorists. And number one in the forefront was Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. We know that these people by the British government, they were called as terrorists number one. George Washington was called terrorist number one. Later on, he becomes the president of USA. And he happens to be the same terrorist number one. He becomes the president of USA and happens to be the godfather of all the presidents to come, including George Bush. <laughs> Imagine the same people who the British has called as terrorists. Now they're allies. They are the best friends. The time keeps on changing, depending upon historical background, depending upon geographical background. What we come to know, in short, whoever is in power, whatever label he gives, the label gets stuck.